back to the channel of ProNZ Vids, and this is my, well, we're here, we're already here, and this is my preview and tip for the Betfred Super League 2022 Grand Final between St. Huns and the Leeds Rhinos. A cracking game ahead, a game that I cannot wait to watch live and free um, on Fox um, at, um, 20, on the 24th of September, uh, in, right in the, early in the morning in Australia. Um, it's going to be fantastic, it's going to be a great game, um, really keen for it. And uh, obviously my team is St. Helens. I've been supporting the club for a good, you know, five years now. So I hope that they can uh, get their fourth straight um, premiership win in a row or grand final win. And uh, yeah, it'd be great to see if we can go in the four peat there because um, I can't remember the exact last time or maybe that's never happened before in the Super League that um, a four peat or a, yeah, a four peat in particular, because that's what we're talking about, uh, has happened if, it, if that's ever happened in the past before. But um, if it hasn't, then let's see if uh, St. Helens can create um, history. But um, as for Leeds, Leeds, wow, they've come out of nowhere this year. It looked like all year that they were going to miss the finals, and it looked like that they were going to miss it by a couple of spots in points. Um, but that last week against Castleford in round 28, the final round of the season, that, that pretty much saved them. You know, it saved them their season, and that's where it got them into the finals and got them to the grand final, which is... Something that no one would have expected, to be honest. So, good on Leeds. Rohan Smith has really changed that side a lot uh, this year. So, um, it's going to be a, a cracking and exciting game ahead. But before I start, uh, please do subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, and uh, comment your tip in the comment section down below because uh, it's a grand final. I'd love to see some opinions and love to get some uh, thoughts and um, the game this week and who everyone's backing and uh, tipping. So, uh, be sure to let me know your tip in the comment section down below as well as... Uh, like the video if you enjoyed my tip and preview, and as well as subscribe to the channel as I'm at 2,311 subscribers. So the goal is obviously keep building to that 2,350 mark, as that's, what, as that's my channel goal uh, for myself. So um, might as well just add that in quickly. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into my St. Helens v. Lead Rhinos 2022 Grand Final tip and preview. So obviously uh, both sides aren't released yet. They'll be released a little bit later, but um, instead of analyzing both teams and, and obviously going through uh, the players selected, um, as it'll be a bit too late um, until I have, to, I have to wait for, so uh, might as well just leave it as this, where I actually go through the recent form of both sides, and this is what I always do. I, I, I always do this in my tipping videos where I go through um, the side's recent form against um, other clubs or the way they've been playing, etc. So. Um, looking at Saints' the recent form, Saints have uh, obviously won, you know, won the only finals match they've played in so far against Salford, winning 90 points to 12. Um, no robbery. Uh, Salford were just being by a better Saints team in the end, I, I suppose. And uh, other than that game, they did smash Toulouse a couple of weeks ago and had a loss to uh, Wakefield and lost to Wigan, but we had some players there as well resting them for finals. And then um, the two weeks before them, uh, we beat Hull KR pretty convincingly, 38 points to 12, and we smashed um, Hull SC 60 points to 6. And as for Leeds Rhinos, uh, Leeds have been on a roll. Um, they obviously <coughs> uh, beat the um, Wigan Warriors last week in a game where I don't think anyone gave, gave much of a chance to our Leeds. I think everyone was sipping Wigan to win and Wigan to play Saints in the grand final, but credit to uh, Leeds Rhinos, they really stuck in that game and they really, you know, defended their ways to win the match because I think defence was a big key and the reasoning why they did win in the end um, for, um, you know, Leeds. So good on Leeds there, that's um, good to, good for them and that's um, a great thing for um, Leeds to get to a grand final. Um, I'm not sure when, they, when their last grand final exactly was, but I know it's not like, not like a long, long time ago, but it's been a little, little while. So it's good to see Leeds back in the um, grand final again and um, we'll see how they go you know, this Saturday, but obviously it'll be barracking for my Saints to win. But I think Leeds, if they come with the right mindset, then there's every chance they could definitely beat us. I have no doubt about it. Now, just quickly, I'm going to give my quick thoughts on uh, the Morgan Knowles situation where he got off from his two-game suspension for... Um, his chicken wing, chicken wing tackle last week um, against Salford. And obviously he was supposed to be missing two games, including the grand final this um, Sunday. Now, um, he will get off and he'll play this week, which I, as a Saints fan, don't agree with because I feel like any chicken wing tackle is a bad tackle and it's suspension worthy. So uh, I don't understand why he got off for some reason, but I think, um, you know, 
I'm not sure. I guess his appeal worked, and I think he, I think he appealed him multiple times. So, look, I think um, apologies there, but yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think I think that you know, just in general, that he shouldn't be allowed to play. Uh, any chicken wing tackle it complies to me as a suspension. So I don't know. I don't know why uh, Noel's got off with that one, but yeah, it's it's wrong. But definitely helps our Saints during the grand final. That's for sure. Because I think Mackinson's going to be ruled out because of um, he's a uh, card he got last week, red red cards. So um, yeah, um, that's why I think that he'll be um, out for this game and is a, is a blow as well. So. Uh, luckily, we got Knowles, but Knowles should consider himself very lucky. Right, on to my key players of both St. Helens and the Leeds Riders now. So, a bit interesting who I'm going to go with for um, both of them. Um, but definitely, um, I don't expect too many people to disagree with my key players. Because I do believe he's the uh, two players from both sides that I reckon will go really well. So, obviously for Saints, I'm going to go with uh, Johnny Lomax as my key player to watch come Saturday. I think Johnny Lomax is really the drive for us boys. Um, he obviously adds a lot to that team with attack. Um, his ball playing is excellent. He can be a little bit inconsistent, like we saw last week against Salford. You know, he wasn't he wasn't his best game until um, back in the game. But I think if he can maintain some consistency and continue to play well, then I can't see I can't see him um, you know struggling at all during the grand final as he's used to playing big games and as he is a class player. So. I expect him to do well for us um, Saints on uh, Saturday. And as for Leeds Rhinos, I'm going to go with uh, Mikolaj uh, Oledski, uh, the front rower. I think he's a really good player, um, Oledski. Um, still very young, still has a lot of potential to give and uh, a lot, of, lot to offer. Um, been one of the main forces or main drives for Leeds team all season. Uh, obviously, I could go on with Cruz Leeming and people like them. Reese Martin, if he's playing. But I think... Um, Oletsky for me is someone that Leeds should, um, or us actually Saints should look out for as he's really been good for them all season. He's a great player and um, Oletsky's my player to watch for uh, Leeds Rhinos. Now, on to my tip for the game now. So this is my final prediction for the match and my final say on who's going to win the grand final for 2022 in the Betfred Super League. My tip between St. Helens and the Leeds Rhinos. I am... Going to tip the St. Helens boys to get the win here. I'm going to tip the Saints to go on a 4 peat and win their four straight grand final in a row. I think that St. Helens are a class above the rest of the Super League teams, in my opinion. And I think that this is the year to win it. If they don't win it, it's a big choke. But if they do, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised. And I don't think anyone would be surprised that I did go on a 4 peat Because I generally think that St. Helens, it's their comp to lose. And I think they'll be a bit too good for Leeds on the uh, Saturday night or Saturday um, evening or afternoon over there because obviously it will be early in the morning here in Australia so it um, will be daytime over there but I am going to go with Saints to win here 22 points to 16 their close game I think Leeds will be in it for quite a while but I think the touch of class in the end by St. Helens will get the job done here so Saints for me to go on a four pit in 2022 but everyone that's my um, St. Helens v Leeds Rhinos uh, Grand Final Tip and Preview Thanks for watching Make sure to like the video Subscribe to the channel And comment your tip In the comment section down below Who you think will win the Grand Final For 2022 But I'm going with Saints We're going to 4P